What's going on guys? A lot to get into today. We're going to talk about some arcade, just what's out there as far as arcade updates, as far as listings and news. Um, so just some brief updates and then we'll get into um, the Sony State of Play which was this week and we'll probably just hop straight into um, just pickups after that. Um, but first we're going to start off with uh, Marvel Pinball Impressions, first impressions. So, I was actually working on this video, as a lot of you know, and then I uh, just randomly got dropped off by FedEx midday Sunday. Um, I last I checked my account was, I guess, Friday morning, and I had not been debited. They must have debited my account Friday afternoon or Friday evening. I got no email, no shipping email from GameStop or anything like that, and it's here. Um, for those of you who are curious, I my order date was November 11th is when I ordered the Marvel Pinball. Um, <clears throat> So it's here. Uh, I got the email saying it was going to be March 9th, shipped by March 9th. So I really wasn't even expecting it by March 9th. I mean, obviously I was hoping for it before then, but I wasn't really expecting it before then, before, you know, mid-March. But uh, got to put together. I uh, will be doing like a pretty in-depth review going into a lot of, I want to spend at least a day, day and a half, maybe two days with it uh, before I just give my full review on it. But initial impressions are, I have it put together. It looks really nice. Um, Definitely are some issues with it. It's not definitely is not perfect. Um, people have been asking me, do they do I think that they should cancel their order? Um, I would not recommend that to anyone right now. So I wouldn't. The state of where these things are at, we don't know when Wave Two is coming, especially if you're locked in that 550 price. If you're really skeptical already, uh, maybe. Um, I am enjoying it. The kids have been playing it; they enjoy it. So I, I definitely do think it's it's a family fun. Like I said, I mean, if you if you've played a lot of virtual pinball, maybe on like a higher higher end, you may start having some some issues. But I, I think overall, just like I said, first impressions, it is good, it is fun. There's definitely some issues that I'll get into in the review. I don't would not recommend canceling your order. In short, um, I will be going through probably once a day or once one, yeah once a day for the next week or two. Or I'm going to try to just take one table a night and maybe just kept capture you know 10 15 20 minutes of gameplay on just one specific table so you can get good a good good impression on each table so i'll probably start from the top just with uh with spider-man if you have recommendations if there is a table that you're really wanting to see just recommend it and i'll bump it up higher in the list but i'm just going to go straight left to right in the, the carousel of games that you get there but um though i think that'll give you all a good idea of just gameplay off each table so, like I said, just let me know if there's one that you want me to do, and I'll try to bump it up higher on the list. Um, as far as arcades listings, uh, so there was the other thing this week where it looks like a lot of the marbles I've seen on Reddit and stuff like that, a lot of the marbles are getting shipped out. I've obviously, many of you have posted that you've gotten yours, or some of y'all have posted that yours has been shipped, uh, which is good news. Uh, so they are starting to get out there. The pinballs are attriculating down the field, and... It's good news. So a lot of people, you know, that was a pretty tense situation there going on for a while. I mean, there's been all the delays and people are starting to get them now. So it's, it's starting to work its way out regardless. Um, for the Legends Pinball, the Legend Pinball, the day after that, there was a cancel on the Attack from Mars orders and caused a lot of issues. And then they, I think the day after that, which I guess the Attack from Mars... I'm, I'm still on actually maybe I misspoke there. I don't know if it was a lot of orders Maybe it was just the one person on reddit that said their order got canceled So I still don't think I've heard actually one other person that got their order canceled um, If so, let me know but there were the, the the delay emails that were a little bit strange because my date was March 12th. I got an email saying mine was delayed to March 9th Which is before March 12th, which is a little bit conflicting and confusing But it obviously worked its way out one way or another and then the Legends pinball said, I, I'm way four, and they said that I should get mine by May 2nd or 3rd, which is seven days earlier than I should be getting it. So that's pretty much the ish, the news caught up on the on the pinballs throughout the week, the, the drama that we had going on. Um, as far as cabinet listings, so right now, like what is actually available that you can actually purchase right now, um, there is the... Bandai Namco Legacy Cabinet, that's available. You can get that at uh, GameStop or Best Buy. That's, the difference is, is that GameStop looks like their ship date is March 15th, where Best Buy ship date looks to be March 30th. 
um, the Atari Legacy cabinet. The only place I'm seeing that is um, GameStop, and it's saying that the ship date for that is 63021. I was considering getting that one. That's probably the one of the legacies that's out there that I would that I probably want the most, just because I think it looks that thing just looks 70s. It has 70s written all over it, and it does. But the the ship date being that that's that, that wave two, I think wave one is getting there is around March or April. So the wave two, I just I figure by that time if I still want it, I'll order it. It may be on shelves or whatnot. We'll we'll see. And they may have new announcements by then, and I just may not even you know prioritize it. Uh, aside from that, there's the X Men versus Street Fighter um, cab. It's still available at Sam's Club and at Walmart. Um, it's it's one of those things where if you search for it at Walmart, you may not find it. You got to put there's a specific link which I'll put in the description. I feel like the X Men vs. Street Fighter and the Marvel vs. Capcom are going to be more difficult to find down the road. Now, I'm, I would, I kind of, that's how I feel. I feel like that the Legacy cabinets will work their work its way out, and those will eventually be available pretty widespread. Um, other than that, there's the Miss Pac Man is still marked down to 349. That, that, that one does look pretty tempting. Now, I mean, I'm, it, it's a really nice looking cabinet. Um, let me know if you have that Miss Pac Man cabinet and how you're liking it, because it, it does look really nice. Um, there's also the risers are at Walmart for $45. Looks like you can still get those risers for $45. So Walmart's got the, the risers, uh, the Miss Pac-Man, and that X-Men vs. Street Fighter. So they actually got quite a few things going on there. Although they're not showing any legacy cabinets. It looks like they are not. I don't know if they are going to sell those, but they're not now. Um, the Midway legacy cabinet obviously went in and out of stock all week. I made a quick update video a couple times and it seems like I know a lot of people ended up getting them so that's really really cool. I know a lot of y'all were upset about that and it kind of worked its way out for many people. Um, I think I, I believe this is all just still wave one so if you did not get your midway legacy cabinet and you're looking for it I, I think just hold on tight. I think I think it'll be I think you'll get a wave two maybe in another couple weeks. Uh, so I, I would anticipate more of those coming and like I said I do I do have a feeling that those legacy cabinets are going to work their way out, and they're going to be pretty widespread available. So I would not pay, I would not pay top dollar or above retail price for any of these legacy cabinets. I would just be patient. If you're gonna, I know it's it's hard sometimes when we want cabinets right away. Wave two may be a couple months later than wave one. I would hold out. I think, like I said, I, I think that these are not going to be like rare down the, down the line. I think the X Men versus Street Fighter and Marvel versus Capcom are going to be much harder to find in my opinion, if, if I had to guess. Um, the Capcom Legacy has not gone back on sale. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen that this week, so we may see more of those coming up here in another couple of weeks, but I will update you guys on anything that I see that is that pops up that hasn't been in stock. Uh, if I see something pop up, I'll try to notify you guys as quick as I can uh, in this upcoming week. Also, the Outrun sit-down cabinet is still available at GameStop. You can grab that for $5.50. I did the video on it last week. Highly suggest that video. Still is my favorite cabinet. Um, really like that. Um, the Big Buck Hunter Pro is at Best Buy for $5.49. And the Big Buck Hunter World is at Walmart for $4.49. I'm not 100% sure what the difference is between those two, but it is, it's a $100 difference, which I actually didn't. I th for some reason, I thought that was a $50 difference between those two cabinets, but it's a $100 difference. Um, I'm the light gun cabinet is the most sought after thing for me going forward this year. So I really want to see what light gun cabinets they come out with. I'm just not a big buck hunter, hunter fan. Otherwise I would have gotten this cabinet. If you grabbed one of these, the one, the, the pro or the world, please let me know what you think of them. Like how, how good the cabinets they are, like what, what your impressions are. Cause I, it's the fact that they're so available kind of makes me wonder how they're selling. I know they have, have got specific technology to do the the light guns with their cabinets, so I'm sure they're going to not just waste that on one cabinet. I'm sure they're going to do more cabinets going forward, but I'm curious who has those and, and how you feel about it. Um, or is it just the fact that not that many people wanted Big Buck Hunter? So really curious on that. Um, moving on to um, the Sony State of Play. So the Sony State of Play... They kind of came up with that out of nowhere, and I did the reaction video for it. I actually did pretty good on my reaction video. I did, I, I, I was pretty, I hit some things. I was pretty proud of myself. Unfortunately, it was pretty disappointing, and I did not even do a follow-up video because I thought it was not very good. <laughs> um, but they did do the Crash Bandicoot 4. Uh, it's about time. It's getting a PS5 update um, on March 12th. So basically, if you have the PS4 version of Crash Bandicoot 4, which I actually do, and I haven't played that game yet you get a free ps5 update come march 12th um there's returnal 
which is kind of like a sci-fi slash horror, like third person shooter game, um, which I kind of look like, I've been interested in that game for a while and they showed some more gameplay of that and it looks, it looks interesting. I don't know if that's a day one purchase for me, but being as a PS5 owner, that's like one of the things that actually looks probably the most desirable coming up in the next couple months, first half of the year. Um, there's Solar Ash, which looks like, I just played the Pathless on the PS5 and Solar Ash looks a lot like the Pathless. It looks pretty interesting. Um, it's by the same developers that did Hyper Light Drifter. Um, looks looks pretty decent. That's supposed to come out sometime in 2021. I'm not really sure what the date is for that. Then you have Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Now, Kenna Bridge of Spirits was supposed to be like a launch-ish type title, like la like launch or, launch or holiday 2020. Then they delayed it. A lot of people thought it was going to be released in March or April of this year. Now they're saying August 24th, which is really backed up. The game does look good. I mean, the game looks like it's going to be a lot of good. It looks fun. So, I mean, it's and it's only going to be a $40 title, which for $40, bucks, it's kind of surprising how decent that game is looking. But it kind of sucks that we're going to have to wait till August. And that you know how August is. By August, August, you know, October, November, that time of year, you got games dropping left and right. So I hope by the time it comes out, then it doesn't get forgotten. Um, Death Loop. I know a couple of people who are looking forward to Death Loop. Um, I'm not into first person shooters all that much, um, so I probably won't, but they show some gameplay of that. That actually comes out May 21st. So for those of you who are, you know, excited about that, you got that coming soon. And then they spent some time on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, and it, there's basically going to be a free upgrade for PS5 owners as well, free graphical update. So that looked pretty cool. Um, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, I'm not, I'm not, but I know a lot of Final Fantasy fans were excited about that. And they're also going to have some paid DLC, like story DLC for that game as well. Um, I think this is one of those times where I don't like to say it, but I, I think that Nintendo kicked the crap out of, out of, uh, PlayStation, out of Sony this, this, this last couple of weeks, the direct, I think I ranked the direct at about a 6.5 or seven, I think is what I gave it. I would have given the Sony state of play about a four. 4, 4.5. That just was really, it was really underwhelming, <clears throat> especially since we're, we haven't heard much from Sony recently, and they had this just state of play drop out of nowhere, and it was pretty, it was just underwhelming. It really was. So, I mean, I don't think that the Nintendo Direct was great, but it, it kicked the crap out of the Sony state of play, so I'll give them credit for that. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and just go into pickups so I can get back to my pinball machine and get some gameplay on it. I didn't mean I didn't, I didn't mean to throw it out there like that. I meant I meant that I I want to get I, I want to get my hands on get get this review out because I know a lot of you guys want the review. So I need to get I need to get some hours clocked. I've already got about two or, two or three hours clocked on it, and I want to get I want to get you know several more before I end up doing the review. Um, so I got King Kong. Um, this is the 2000, I think five is it? Um, one directed by Peter Jackson. Um, watched this actually with the kids last night. It's really. It was really fun. This thing is like three hours long. I got I got the steel book for it. Sorry, is why I'm bringing that up. Um, that movie's three hours long, but they've been into since there's a, the Godzilla and King Kong movie coming out. I've watched the, all the Godzilla movies lately. The, the two new ones, the new Kong Skull Island, and then they wanted to watch this as well. Um, I like the new Kong better than this one, but it was still a lot of fun watching that. Um, God of War. This is the, on the PS Vita. This is basically has God of War one and two, so you can play that on the Vita. Uh, this is uh, the reprint, the PlayAsia reprints for the PS Vita games. I kind of mentioned this a couple months back. I think it's still on sale for what is it, thirty? I think it's still knocked down to like thirty-two ninety-nine or something like that. But good game, I definitely. Uh, suggest picking it up. Killzone Mercenaries, I think, is on sale for twenty-seven ninety-nine. Same thing. It's a it's a PS Vita reprint from PlayAsia.com. I had mentioned that one back a little while back as well. And finally it came in. Um, Russian Attack. So when I did the video for the Legacy, um, the Konami Legacy cabinet, uh, I was talking about Russian Attack. I had fun playing that game. And then I realized that I didn't have it on the NES. And it's a really good port on the NES. So I, it's a cheap game. You can get it for 5 or 10 bucks. I went ahead and picked it up to add to the collection. And I mean, it's one of those things, if you like the arcade version, you should like the NES version. If you don't like the arcade version, you will not like the NES version. It's it's a pretty accurate port, uh, in my opinion. Okay, so we got the next up, we got the King of Route 66. And this is a truck-based racing game that was um, developed by a Sega AM2. And this is a port from the arcade game to the PS2. And it's really silly, over the top. Um, not, not a perfect game, but I think it's 
quite fun for like you know for a couple hours play the problem is it's probably a little bit more expensive than like how much it grows for like between 25 30 bucks in that range and i don't know if i don't know if it's quite worth that because there's a prequel to it basically this is the sequel to um what is it uh 18 wheeler american pro trucker which was the first arcade game and then this is a sequel to that so that that one you can actually get on the ps2 for like i actually just ordered it this week for like eight bucks and this one i think costs mid 20s mid to high 20s so um it is fun it is a fun game like i said it's made by sega am2 but it's the port is okay but it's you know it's not not something you're gonna dig dig like several hours into it's good for a couple sit downs and that's probably it um katsui destiny I think it's actually pronounced Kitsui Destiny. Um, this is the basically a port of the Xbox 360 and PS3 cave shooter, um, the Kitsui game. This is ported by, or yeah, this port is done by M2, and it has like extra DLC, extra modes. Um, it's it's an excellent game. It's a fantastic, excellent game. I got this from PlayAsia.com. Was actually where I got that from. And then finally, um, we got Thunder Force Six. On the PS2, so this is a uh, an import. So you're gonna you'll need a Japanese PS2 or um, Japanese backwards compatible PS3, which is what I captured this footage off of. Um, it's the game is actually published and developed by Sega. It's a gorgeous horizontal scrolling shooter. If you're a fan of the Thunder Force series, it kind of sucks that this one did not get a North American release. But if you have the means to get that game and play it, I highly suggest getting it. It's a fantastic, gorgeous game, um, worth picking up one of the best shooters on the PS2. But that is it guys, like I said, let me go throw this video together, edit it, and then try to get some gameplay on that, some more gameplay on that pinball, and then I will keep y'all in the loop as much as I can. But thanks for watching, and see you in the next video, later.